Alright, this is just a part two, real quick. So, that's the back seat. Right. Here's just the passenger side here. Do you like this? Yeah. <laughs> oh my. It's not too expensive either. Oh wow. Did you feel this material that's up here? <laughs> like, whoa. Wow. It doesn't have a CD player. No, no they're, they're doing away with CDs. Yeah, they are. You're right. With like the CD players because yeah, it's mostly yeah, going to be like Bluetooth audio they're in they're the they're future. They're I know with the Ford Edge, uh, there is no aux import either it's Bluetooth mm -hmm. or AM, FM, and satellite radio. No CD player. <laughs> no CD player. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can put up with, I can live with this. That tablet style yeah. infotainment system. Yeah, was it a touch screen? Yeah, that's the touch screen. Oh, no wonder it's something. Yeah. And you know, one man was saying that the people are lazy that designed this because instead of finding a dash that could mold this into it, mm -hmm. they stuck it up to like Mercedes Benz. Really? Although it does look high class. I personally like how those some people don't like the bezels, mm -hmm. the thick bezels that's on the yeah, side of this. I just don't, you know, I don't know. And when you look at the screen, mm -hmm. you see the instrument cluster? That's mm -hmm. a screen right there in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's digital. The rest is analog on the sides. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. What trim level were you looking at exactly? Uh, I'm looking at this type, this level here. Because I know... Um, I know you weren't looking at the base model because no. the pure base doesn't even come with push to start. You have a regular key. Really? No. Oh. And this has, I think, LED low and high beam mm -hmm. and the Infinity audio system, which is really going to mm -hmm. kick. <laughs> this has uh, heated seats here, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. This is a nice car. Oh, and you know the parking brake that would normally be over there? Mm -hmm. Right here, electronic. And also auto hold, let's say in a long light, mm -hmm. uh, put your foot on brake, press the whole thing, mm -hmm. and it'll hold the brake for you. And it'll keep your brake lights on while you take your foot off. Oh, okay. And then also, this does have the auto start stop. Mm -hmm. So like, each time you come to a stop for more than a second or two, it'll shut the engine off. Really? And you'll feel it when it shuts back on. I believe it either has a, I think it does have a secondary battery and also a secondary um, starter. Mm -hmm. Because you'll ruin those things, keep doing it, you know, all those cycles. But to turn it off, you have to press this button, but it turns back on after you shut the car and shut it back on. Really? Mm -hmm. So you have to keep pressing that button if you want it to stay off. Really? No. Yeah. That's and you know, with Chevy, actually, you can't even turn it off with Chevy. Really? So, yeah, this is kind of, you know, better than that at least. Yeah. But I just don't like it because I had a driver's ed car that kept doing it. You would feel it like jerk. You don't, and it was it was so laggy. Like I put my phone in cell, I'm ready to go. It still hadn't started up yet. Oh, no, and then it started up, and then it started moving. No. I'm not sure if this system will be that slow, but it does have yeah. it though. <laughs> All right, that's it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm out. Peace.